What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Built for Performance. Um, got something in the mail today for this cutie out here. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox it right here real quick and then we'll, we're gonna do a quick install. Install. You'll find out. So let's, let's get to the unboxing. This cop. So, this is the Cobalt 3000 knife. It's like, nah, it's just a regular, you know, pocket knife. And I'm not even gonna use it. First gets package, obviously you get the box. And then packaging slip. This is what you wanna see. Comes in a nice, beautiful box. Let's see what's inside. Maps ready. A little like quick information thing telling you it has some maps on it already. I haven't figured this out. It's an access port. It's a tuner by Cobb. Shout out to Cobb. And here. This is the cord. It goes into your OBD port and then into the access port. And I don't know what this is. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, a little protector that wasn't on there. This guy. This is so you can mount it to your dash. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I don't want to mount it anything to my dash. So I'm gonna get a suction cup for it and mount it to the window whenever I get that. Now for what we've really been waiting for. in a nice little case, little foam protector, booklet, how to use it, how to plug it in. Got some decals. I'll put those on eventually. Then here's the tuner. It'll have uh, gauges, you know, I'll show you that in a minute. This must be another face. Yep. So you got the, the like, I guess, dark silver, gray, whatever you want to call it, and then you got black. So this little piece comes off, as you can see, it fits over top. And then this is the little holder. And this goes on here. And then mounts to wherever you want it. Like I said, I'm not gonna use this. So I'll figure something out for now. Then this cord, I'm assuming, because I don't know too much about it. I'm still learning, just like y'all are. This is so you can plug this into your computer, download the maps that's from either the website, or maybe if you get a, an e-tuner, you know, you take a log, send it to a tuner, they'll look at the maps, adjust certain things, and send you another tune back, and then Download it onto here, and then you take it to your car and download it onto your car, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until the tune's right. So, yeah. So that's what's in the box. Now we're gonna go install it, or let's plug it in. You gotta take the, I'm assuming there's a protective screen on here. I could be wrong though. Is there? Ah, oh, there it is. Protective screen off. Now I'm stubborn and I don't read instructions, so I'm just going to plug this thing in to the port, which is right here. And we plug this into the bottom of here to protect the cap off. And this goes in here, like that. And there's the police. Turn the car on. As you can see, it, it comes on. 
up, down, okay, cancel. Hold okay for more information or context help. Hold cancel screenshots. Screenshot? You can take screenshots. Hold down. Hold down. Replace, repeat, scroll, power, sleep, and wait. Power button? Oh, I guess that's what this is. Oh, it is starting to go. I said okay. Install the access port to your vehicle. All right, we're gonna install it to our vehicle. So now it's marrying the vehicle to our uh, access port. Please wait while the map files are loaded and verified. So I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Any theft mode. Stage zero. I think that's like the base tune. Stage one, base select. Maybe I should go get the paper. The best performance. Select the map the most closely matches the modification level of the vehicle. You may also long hold the OK button to view detailed map information. There you go. Let's see. Stock mode style map uses stock fueling, timing, and boost values for conditions when you need the vehicle's ECU to act like it is still stock. Does not uninstall. Okay. Back. Good 93. Because here in Merlin, use 93. Stage 1. Let's see what this is. Include intended for vehicles with stock intake system and a stock exhaust running 93 or 94 octane. It's petrol boost. Target 17.5 psi. Oh, that's cool. Sharp is 15. Sport is 8. I peak boost. Left for minus one. We're just gonna use the stock one. And then I'll get more information. Battery charger is recommended to turn off headlights. Turn off headlights. That's a video. Continue. key off and turn that on. Continue. Please turn ignition key to off position, turn ignition key to on position, and immediately press OK to continue. There we go. So now it's currently loading the map, which I believe is stock, onto my car. I'm gonna speed this up for you guys, ready? There we go. Please turn and leave the Ignition in the off position to begin vehicle reinitializing. Okay, so turn it off, continue. 
We leave the ignition off while the vehicle re-initializes to complete. Please turn the ignition key to on position. Access can begin to reset procedures. Please wait while the access or reset CC is on. Installation successful. Please turn ignition key to off position for at least 15 seconds before starting the vehicle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 22, 20, 16, 17, 18, 19. Gauges! Let's put the starter up. me there for a second. Almost didn't start. So yeah, pretty much you can set up your gauges and that's it. So if you like like this kind of stuff, you know, it's not just me, it's me and two other people. Uh, the other guys are named Brandon and, and, and Tony. And what we do is work on cars and if you're new to the channel, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because then you'll get notified every time we upload a new video. And don't forget to follow our Instagram, which is built underscore four underscore performance. And there you'll get, you know, sneak peeks of what we're doing before we upload a video. And yeah, don't forget to tell your family, friends, Uncle Timmy, Jimmy, Billy, Grandma, everyone. Tell them all to watch and subscribe. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.